What's going on, everybody? Your boy, man, up here. <sighs> now, somebody sent me this video, but I want to employ y'all to go watch the whole entire video. It's about and four minutes long. I just want to only focus on the very first part of this video that she is talking about. The first maybe minute or so. Now, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, why aren't happily married, wealthy women giving relationship advice? Oh, I could tell you, but I already know y'all ain't going to listen. Want to know why I say that? Sierra. Gave y'all Sierra's prayer. Y'all ain't even listening to it. You ain't even doing what you're supposed to be doing. Sierra at least humbled herself to go get a man. And look what came her way. But y'all will pay attention to Beyonce, who has a rich, successful man, but she's not telling you how to go get one. She's making sure y'all stay single. Yeah. That's why. That, well, that's one of the reasons. But I'm going to go ahead and play the video so y'all can hear what she has to say. It's about, I cut it down to about a minute, but I employ y'all to go watch the whole video. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get this going, thing going. So I just seen this girl make a video and she was like, why is it that the girls who are single and serially dating and they have rosters, why are they the ones giving out their game card and giving relationship advice instead of the women who are actually like happily married to wealthy men who spoil them? And I also want to add, why are the women who marry their sugar daddies giving advice as well? Because I'm so sorry, you were doing sex work when you met that man, you met him as a sex worker. And he left his wife and family to marry you because you were younger and hotter than his wife who popped out three kids and who's the same age as him. Oh my God, I'm, I can't believe she showed signs of aging. Like, I'm not taking advice from you hoes either. But um, why are they the ones giving relationship advice and not the ones who are actually happily normally married to wealthy men? Why aren't they, the, why aren't they giving any advice? All right, now that y'all didn't saw all that, here is what I'm talking about. I gave examples of Sierra Prayer versus the things that Beyonce is talking about. Yes, yeah, Sierra has done some things that I disagree with, but at least she was able to humble herself, pray for a good man, and when God sent her one, she did not turn him down. Now, I don't know if this part here is true, so I'm putting this in quotes. I'm going by what I heard somebody else say on this part, but I can believe it, though. But I don't know if to be true myself. Sierra said the reason why y'all is not with a good man is because y'all beg for Sierra's prayer, but when God send you a good man, you turn him away. I'm like, damn, that's true. Y'all beg for Sierra's prayer, but when God send you a good man, you turn him away. Just because he's not tall enough, just because he looks lame, just because he's, you know what I'm saying, he's not willing to do certain things, y'all don't want him. But look at Sierra. Also, too, Beyonce has a successful, rich man. Hey. <laughs> How come y'all not? And also, too, this is another thing I want to talk about. I'm not going to make this too much longer. But this is another thing I want to talk about. See, when I was growing up, there was an old saying that I still live by to, to this day. I can show you better than I can tell you. Yes. So instead of somebody telling you, why don't you pay attention to what they're doing? Just pay attention. You know, the game, game is to be sold, not told. So, you know what I'm saying? Those are two sayings that I heard a lot growing up. I can show you better than I can tell you. The game is to be sold, not told. Pay attention. So y'all want everybody to just give it to you instead of you working hard to go get it. Now, I'm going to say this here. When God do send you a good man, just because he doesn't fit a certain criteria that you want, does not mean he's not a good man. 
just because he's not a millionaire, he doesn't make or a whole, whole lot of money, does not mean he's not a good man. He might finna get there. But at the end of the day, though, that's a good man. So with that being said, think about it. This is your boy, Man Up. I'm talking to Deuce. I'll holler at y'all.